You know, US Senate candidate uh, Herschel Walker, he's definitely been this individual who calls out absentee fathers and saying it's a big problem in America, really reinforcing these dog whistles, particularly as it applies to the black community. Uh, well, as it turns out, he is an absentee father. That's per a report by the Daily Beast that revealed that the aspiring congressman or uh, senator, I should say, well, he definitely has a kid that he is not spending time with at all and that he really hasn't publicly acknowledged until yesterday. Yeah, so go ahead and take a listen to this as we talk about Herschel Walker's accusations and all sorts of claims against absentee fathers. I know uh, the fatherless home is a major, major problem. And Herschel Walker, who was born in Wrightsville, Georgia, you know, I took it, I took care of a lot of people in my hometown. I took care of a lot of the places around where I grew up. I was being like a father to some of those kids that it may have had father. The problem we have is we're going back to this mentality that the father leaves in the black family. He leaves and leaves the boys alone. All these riots and all these things going on, has anyone talked about a solution? Everyone talking about all this stuff. Here's the one solution. I said, guys, you know, we have a lot of NBA, NFL players. We have a lot of NBA players. And they want to help. They're giving millions of dollars to Black Lives Matter. Well, let's not do that. What we need to do is let's say, okay, Herschel, and I, and I blame myself, but I'm going to tell you what I'm doing. I said, you know, what we need to do is let's go in our neighborhood and let's become fathers of those fatherless child. Parents getting involved with your child is very, very important. But also adults getting involved with kids because some kids do not have a parent, a mother or father. So I don't think- I You know, Herschel Walker needs to get involved with the truth because that's what he seems to be missing. And so here are the details on his other son that he has been an absentee father of. So Walker has a second son who has apparently been estranged from his biological father since his birth a decade ago. The son whose name the Daily Beast is withholding out of privacy concerns has grown up more than 1500 miles from Walker's Texas home. And the mother whose name we are also withholding for privacy reasons had to take Walker to court a year after giving birth in order to secure a declaration of paternity and child support. The Daily Beast confirmed these events through public post, a court document where Walker is declared to be the child's father and a person close to the boy's family with direct knowledge of the events. That person told the Daily Beast that while Walker sends Christmas and birthday presents, he otherwise has not played an active parental role in raising his second son. The child also has not met or spoken with his half brother, Christian. And so when this revelation was made public by the Daily Beast, this is how Walker's campaign responded. Herschel had a child years ago when he wasn't married. He supported the child and continues to do so. He's proud of his children to suggest that Herschel is hiding the child because he hasn't used him in his political campaign is offensive and absurd. Hmm, that's a great spin. That's a really cute spin. You know, it just seems like Walker continues to be problematic for an individual running for some kind of uh, leadership position. Uh, and, and I do, as we talked about the other day, I do know that he has been diagnosed with an individual with a dissociative personality disorder, also known as split personality. And it also seems that he is saying things that are completely and wholly inaccurate and condemning people for behavior that he himself is engaging in. So. No matter what his mental health status is, I can tell you that this is not indicia of someone who would be an effective leader. Was this is annoying on like twenty thousand different levels, right? Um, this trope of the absentee black father. Who are these absentee black fathers? This stuff that we get from the eighties and Reaganism, and you know this idea of black pathology or underclass ideology, right? Like, where do we get this stuff? These are these are black men who walked into one deindustrialization. The jobs left. They shipped them overseas. Uh, mass incarceration and a drug war. So these dudes were not around because they were locked the hell up in an economy that had no jobs and opportunities for them. So like just the trope that we pathologize black men and their inability to father people is ridiculous. And then we don't talk about like the people say, well, what about the actual statistics? Well, you need to contextualize those statistics and talk about the environments that produce them. That's a one. And then we got this freaking hypocrite Herschel Walker, who is a rich man. <laughs> You're a rich man who's free 
to do all your responsibilities. And what have you done? Go out in your campaign and let's face it, be an Uncle Tom and peddle some of the worst, the worst stereotypes about black people possible to get, yes, yes, good boy, Herschel, good boy, pats on the head from your white helpers and enablers. And then you yourself inexcusably have no part in your own child's life, bro. You're not in jail, you're not locked up. You didn't get messed up on um, drugs because of terrible economic uh, situations around you. You're just a horrible father, <laughs> right? And yet you go out and you do all of this stuff. And, and it's, just, it's just the worst, like this is kind of the worst sellout Tom behavior that you can see. And I don't come to that term very lightly. I just think this is this is just literally the absolute worst embodiment of that kind of stuff. Yeah, and the fact is that we know that this whole absentee black father is nothing more than a racist trope. It's an absolute myth and it's been debunked numerous times by CDC studies and reports. And so for Walker to be used as a conduit for it, or actually to be a conduit for it, I want to give him accountability for his behavior. It just, all it does is continue to feed the hypocrisy, also to allow these racist tropes to exist. And you know, and also just to turn out that, hey, he himself is an absentee father. It's just like, I just roll my eyes. But also Walker's hypocrisy, it really, it really knows no bounds. Mm-hmm. The man himself has a history of domestic abuse, which mm-hmm. is also much more concerning, but I guess, also right up its alley. Uh, We know this from the Atlanta Journal Constitution. So Mika Dean, uh, that was a woman, uh, had told police in 2012 that when she tried to end a relationship, a long time romantic relationship with the Republican US Senate candidate Herschel Walker, he threatened to blow her head off and then kill himself. And Dean is the second woman who was involved romantically with Walker to accuse him of making violent threats. His ex-wife Cindy Grossman has also said he threatened her life and a recent Associated Press report unearthed documents that show a judge granted Grossman a protective order in 2005 after outlining his alleged threats to shoot her in the head. And it's also my understanding that they were using those what those red flag laws against him and that the judge ordered that his weapon be taken away. It, it, it seems like this is the most problematic candidate, doesn't have a strong, um, strong position, proposals, nothing has told multiple lies and they are egregious lies. And yet he continues to be in this position of being a potential candidate for US Senate. I, I Again, I wanna talk to these constituents and ask them really, what are they thinking? Well, is any final thoughts on this? Look, man, um, being this type of black race, uh, racial traitor or sellout, while I can, since that it's probably soul crushing and and it's got to take a lot out of these people um it's lucrative and it gets you far and putting a black face on the worst sort of racial stereotypes and you know uh, finger wagging respectability politics all black pathology crap it, it 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 helps you advance in all of your endeavors so long as you're consorting with the right wing Yep, exactly. And people are willing to do anything to nestle up to the money, nestle up to the GOP, including selling their souls if they had them. Thanks for watching The Young Turks. Really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video, thank you.